welcome to Morgans with Niramas. I'm Niramas and I'm here today with Draco and Mats. Hi. Because Mats has designed a game called Steam Freaks and we're going to uh, play it a bit here. We already played a bit but we wanted to show you sort of mid-game here because it is a racing game. So it's a good idea to show you mid-game here what is happening in the game. And so now you're the first player, right? I'm in the lead right now. So I will act first. He's always the person who's yeah. in front that's acting first. So on my turn I can uh, play up to three cards face up and then I can play as many cards as I like one uh, or five or six or seven uh, but I can only play maximum three cards face up yeah so I need to decide how I want to race so in this case I'm gonna change the lane here so I go from the lighter one to the darker and uh, I do that by playing an arrow that's how I change uh, the lane I jump over and then I play a uh, Three steps going forward. One, two, three. And then there's some obstacles here I need to stay clear of. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go three. One, two, three. It's rude when the designer is in the lead, but that's yeah, yeah. that's rude, really rude. But now you play three cards face up, so now you can only play your other cards face, face down up. for the effect on the back of the cards. There's a bunch of different effects here that we will yeah. explain as we go. So I will uh, use the uh, roll. Where I can go sideways and to do that I need to spend then two of my lava stones here that gives me the power uh, so I spend two and then I move my speeder over here so basically you did a roll over the obstacle exactly and then I will go one more step forward trying to take some cover here and yeah. cover some <laughs> speed now I have uh, five pearls to buy new cards with, which is over here on this area here. So it's a deck building in that sense. So I think I am I will buy a five this time. I don't, yeah, think, so I don't start, think I have one. Everyone starts out with the same basic uh, cards and then we will buy cards as we go and make our deck better and better. And as we circle the deck around, because we do have a, after we play them, we put them in our discard pile over here, then we will get the better cards coming up, which is just a standard deck builder, really. Exactly. All right, so you did your turn. My and turn is over, just mark so I it there. in and to just make that. You can also buy then some gadgets to improve your speeder. They have different effects and you can also uh, add weapons to yeah, it. So, so it depends a little bit on the style you want to have on the race. Yeah, so I have a weapon here, a coconut launcher. I will shoot at uh, Matt's here soon. And so my turn here, I have my five cards. I uh, can, the cards have two functions basically, uh, you have a number or an arrow, so the number tells you how many spaces straight forward you can move, or the arrow tells you that you can move one space diagonally or forward. Um, you also have on the left hand side here, in this case I will add three lava stones to my engine, which will ma make it possible for me to play like this card that requires me to burn two lava stones from my engine. Um, so I think I will start off I'm all I'm over there. Okay, I think I'll start off by just spending uh, playing this one where I can go one step in front of Draco here. And then I will play my And you add three cubes as well? So oh yeah, I add three cubes as well. That. Yeah, so here we go. The negative effect. Now you will give uh, Draco a slipstream here, which is a free move forward. Yeah, if I if this I would end my turn like this. No, if you move now. If I move now yeah. as well? Okay, that's that's bad. Well, I can give that to Draco, it's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to play a five here, oh. and that takes two of the lava stones from the right hand side of my engine here, where I can burn them like that, and then I go five steps, and he tags along for just one step for the slipstream. Then I will play this one to just move one step forward, but I will get three rotation of power in the engine, so I will sort of boost my engine for later on, I will move three cubes over there, and now I can use these later on to uh, sort of, yeah, like I did with the five here, I can, I can do special effects. You can also use two in the exhaust part where you can draw another card as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's true. Um, should, do I want to do that? Let's see, well actually I think I will. I will spend two to draw another card, then I need to shuffle in mid. I didn't plan this when no. I set up the video. <laughs> uh, I just realized it's Intermission. Right now. Draco, sing a song. <laughs> no. So here's my draw pile now. I hit the mute button. <laughs> oh, that was good. So, well, I already played three card face mm -hmm. up. So I'm going to save this card for next turn then. 
then I know that I have it. So I'm going to spend these two face down and I'm going to use them for money I think because right now I have no uh, pearl symbols, the green symbols on these so I have nothing to buy anything with. I'm going to just, we're here I can get four in total, two on each card. So with four I think I will pick up one of these upgrades actually. That could be fun. So let's see for four. That can come in handy. Yeah, that's a that's a uh, pass. Yeah, basically. One time pass. I can I can pass another player. So I'm putting this down on my upgrade slot here. I can only have one of each. We also started out with a mask that we're wearing. So we have spe one special ability for the game, and I'm immune to these sort of taunts and screams, these negative effects. All right, so that was it. But now I'm also going to I'm going to save this, but I'm also going to uh, throw out my coconut launcher at Matt's. So. How do we keep track of this? I, I'll put this here, so I know. Yeah, okay. That, uh, you can only play two cards face uh, face, face up. up right? Yep, that's good. You but you can play three face down, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that was my whole turn. I marked that I done my turn, and now it is Draco. Draco. Um, so what is he doing? Yeah, he will try to catch up with you, maybe. And yeah. now I draw back up to five, which is my hand size. So I'm ready for my next round. I can start planning and so on. Draco starts with moving three steps. So then he takes. Two more steps. One, two. Now it's right behind Niramas here. He's gonna use the back side of this card to make a pass. So he spends one cube to leap over. Yeah. And then he moves three more steps. But now I get to leap stream now. Yes, exactly. That's nice. Uh, and then he's gonna circle two with that one. Yeah, he needs that. Oh no, he's gonna keep it. Sorry. Oh, okay. He's gonna keep it. Yeah, you don't need to play your whole hand. You no. can save cards. So now Draco has four money to spend and he likes to go fast. Yeah. Oh, we should uh, replenish this one. So. Gonna take a four. Yeah. I think that's cost four. It's up there. And then his turn goes over. All right, and now we will update this. So now Draco passed me, so he is the second player now. Yeah. To go and match this. So now first. I just put this one in front of me so I know that I can only play two face yeah. up, which is a. Uh, was a good coconut. Yeah, I hope it slows you down a bit. <laughs> it will. Uh, okay, let's start with the three. One, two, three. And three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to make another row. So I spend two cubes to go yeah. over there. And I spend one more to. Side step, sorry, and then I play. No, 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 sorry, face two card face up. Good, thank you. <laughs> uh, I think I'm it's a pretty good. No one can really, it's gonna be hard to pass me there, so I will use that as money instead. Yeah, so you have a total of four. So I have a four, so I will buy a four for four. Yeah, buy a four for four. That's great. <laughs> All right, so then it's the right turn. Wow, this multitasking here. Wow, look at his hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He doesn't have any power in his exhaust though, so he's a bit... He will need to do that. We're going to circle two over, using that action to circle two. And then I'm going to play this one to use one power to go two steps, two single steps, one and one. I'm going to play that one to move sideways. That one also to move sideways, and then spend one more power to move four steps. Okay. One, two, three, four. It's almost caught up to you. Yeah. That was a good turn from for Draco, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a bit behind now, but I think I can catch up to these guys, maybe. So I'll do this one to go one sideways, yeah. And then one more to go forward. And one more to go sideways, <laughs> and then I'll do my, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what happens if I play eight in total of movement now? Will I bump into Draco? Yeah, you can't, actually. You, you, there's no crashing, and you can't move into someone if, if uh, there's no space. So yeah, you I can't can. utilize that. Conference. So I'll, I'll do this five then, for two cubes, so I'll do five steps. It's kind of sad that I have a three then. Yeah. But I'll just play it like that and I'll take the money. So now I have a total of five to uh, buy something with. I'm going to grab one of these. 
Hmm, I think I'll grab one of these. I'll get another coconut launcher. That was that was pretty <laughs> effective. So that was three, and I have two more back on There's my no thing. Yeah. So that was uh, so that was the round. round. Now we can check the turn order. It's still the same. So I'm first, Draco second, and then Iramas third. And we're going to replenish this one. So there's a taunt. Go this and that. I go one. Then I go one more. And I use that one to go there. Yeah. I use this one to circle two. Then I play my five. Oh, you had a good move up there. It would turn out better than I expected. Yeah, but, um, just whining as usual. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and I have six to buy four. It's a bit trickier in the end, so you need some uh, slower cards as well. Yeah. That's a balance a little bit. You need some fast cards and you need some slow cards. So it's Draco's turn. Draco has basically no power. Oh, I forgot my uh, upgrade here. End of my turn, I get to fill up my one power yeah, in the uh, special upgrade you bought there. Mm. Oh, hang on, this is cool. Draco has the perfect move. He has the plow as an upgrade. Yeah. So he can actually bump into one of these rocks okay. and turn it into a uh, lava stone. So he will remove that one, yeah. which could be beneficial for you, but he gets a power for that. Okay. And now that means that he removes this because it's yeah, a one-time one effect. Use, yeah. And then we can go three and two. One, two, three. I have to take one step like that, and I think we'll circle two. All right. And he has six to buy, or and now yeah, now he has room for another mm. upgrade. I think this one is pretty good. At the end of your round, uh, end of your turn, you can circle one for free. Yeah. Not this round though, because he's still equipping it. So next yeah. round, that will be effective. Okay, so my turn. I feel like I'm sort of behind here, but I am. Um, so I'll do this one for three. So you get some power or lava stone in. Yeah, and then I'll go diagonally. And then I go three, I think. And then I will do these two for diagonal steps or like one there and one there so I get some slippery from yeah, Draco. That's good. And also uh, burn this and do I choose who I throw it on? Yeah. Yes I'll throw it on you of course. Of course. Yeah. And so that limits me this turn I can only play two cards. Yeah. So uh, I, th I think you, you've seen the basics yeah. of the game, uh, the deck building, the upgrades, the weapons. Uh, we should also talk a little bit about this. Uh, Sometimes you get pollution, and then you put one of these on your deck, and that means you draw one card fewer uh, next time. Mm. Um, and there's also, yeah, there's different upgrades. These, these, uh, I really like this system here with the engine, that you get these in here, but you have to sort of power them up until, and then you can use them from here. You can use them from here as well for uh, money, for pearls, uh, if you want to burn them out of this here. But All right, so I... I think that's it for uh, this time and thank you so much for watching Steam Freaks and thank you to the designer Mats Gengard for showing it to me and Draco. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.